Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a circle mosaic effect just like this in Photoshop. For this video tutorial, I've used an image which I've downloaded here from Morg file. I'm going to give you the link to it, and if you want to follow along using this image, you can. But pretty much any image of your choice would be just fine to use. I have this image open here in Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do is choose image and then image size because I just want to see how much image I have. Well, it's about 3,500 pixels wide and about 2,304 pixels tall. I want to get a square shape out of this, so I'm just going to look at this value here and think that if I rounded it all up, about 2,300 should be a good crop. So I'll just click Cancel. I'm going to click on the crop tool here and I'm going to type in here 2300 px for 2300 pixels, 2300 pixels here as well. And this is going to give me the size image that I want. I can move the image in the crop rectangle until I get something nice. If it's not 100% what I want, well, I'm just going to drag it down until it is because this is still going to give me the right size image. I'll click the check mark when I'm done. Just to confirm, now we have an image that's 2300 by 2300 pixels in size. For this effect, it's going to be a whole lot easier if you get your image cropped to multiples of 100 pixels. It's just going to make life a whole lot easier. Next, we're going to choose File and then New, and I'm going to create an image that is 100 pixels by 100 pixels in size. For this one, I'm going to make it white background, so I'm just going to click OK. Now, what I want to do is I'm just going to zoom in here. I want to create a circle that fills up this shape. So I'm going to click here on the ellipse tool and select the elliptical marquee tool here. Now, I can select the size if I want. So I'm going to select fixed size and I'm going to make it 100 pixels by 100 pixels. It's already set to that because that's what I set it to a little bit earlier. But you would just type those values in. And now what you want to do is to click in the very top corner of the image here and make sure that your circle fits within the area of this image. Let's go and view the layers palette with window and then layers. This image has a background layer so I need to convert it to a regular layer by double clicking it and then click OK. And I just want to press delete because that's now going to give me a shape that has white around the edges and is a hollow circle, a transparent circle in the middle. I'm going to press Control or Command D to deselect my selection. Now I'm going to choose Select All and I'm going to make a pattern out of this. Edit, Define Pattern. I'm going to call this 100 pixel circle white. Now if I want to make this black, I can do so, and it's quite handy to have both black and white versions. First thing I'm going to do is to lock this layer down so that the transparent pixels on this layer, these ones in the middle here, are locked away. I'm going to press the letter D to set these values here to the default. Black is now my foreground colour, so if I press Alt Backspace, that's Option Delete on the Mac, I'm going to fill all the non-transparent pixels, which is everything that was white or partially white, with black. Now I can unlock this, and I'm going to save this as a pattern as well. I have it already selected, so I'll choose Edit, Define Pattern, and this is going to be a 100 pixels, Circle, Black. So I've now got my patterns created, so I can just trash this document. I don't need it at all anymore. Let's go back to our image, and this could be an image of anything. The first thing we're going to do is convert this for smart filters. It will just give us some editable ability later on. I'll choose Filter, Convert for Smart Filters, and click OK. Now we want to apply our pattern over the top of this bird. So we'll go down here to the Add Layer Style icon, click it, and choose Pattern Overlay. Now the pattern that we created is the last one or the second last one in this dialog. So here's the black one and here's the white one. I'm actually going to choose the black one this time, so I'm just going to select it. Now 
At the moment it's set to 30% but I'm going to make it 100% because that means that it's now a 100 pixel size pattern. So it's 100% of its regular size. Opacity is 100%. Blend mode normal. And I'll click OK. Now what we want for this effect is we want to make the bird flattened into areas of color that are 100 pixels by 100 pixels. To do that I'll choose Filter and then Pixelate Mosaic. The Mosaic filter allows us to convert the image into blocks of color and here is one that has a cell size of 100. You can see that we have a larger version of what we started out with. Now you can just alter the values that you set to get a different effect. Let's go back to our pattern overlay here by double clicking on it. Well our pattern was originally 100 pixels wide so if we select 50% it's going to be 50 pixels wide. I'll click OK. Then we'll go back into the smart filter into the mosaic filter that we created. Just double click on it and now we can make our pattern 50 and that's going to match the size of the dots that we have over the image. So there's a slightly more detailed effect. And we can go even smaller. I'm going to double click on the pattern overlay. This time let's choose 30. That's going to be 30% of 100. So it's a pattern size of 30 pixels. We'll go back into our mosaic. and We're just going to set this to 30. You'll see now how important it was to make sure that everything was sort of a multiple of 100 because everything's going to scale really neatly here. And you can see that this image is now made up of dots that are all a solid color and that's come through the application of that mosaic filter. So you can go larger or smaller just by double clicking on the pattern overlay, change the value there and then change the corresponding value in the mosaic. Let's go to pattern overlay and see what it looks like with white. Just going to go and select my white pattern. It's still set to 30% which is going to match the underlying mosaic that I have. And that's the image with a white pattern overlay. Now you might think that this image is not quite bright enough, particularly when it's on a white pattern. Well, I'm going to click on the image layer itself and choose Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves and click OK. One of the things I can do with curves is to drag out a sort of S-shaped curve. I'm going to drag down on the bottom of the curve and slightly up on the top of the curve. And that gives me a more contrasty image. Let's see the before and after. That's the before and this is the after. I think with the white pattern you'll find that this image could really take this additional adjustment, this curves adjustment, just to brighten it up a little bit. So there's how you can create your own custom circular mosaic pattern here in Photoshop. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.